Welcome to our classroom and here we are going to see about the application of magnetism. Right? So far we have deal, dealt with uh, how the magnetic field is produced in straight conductor and circular coil and even in solenoid, everything we have seen. Right? Now we are a little bit we are moving on to the application side. So here we are going to, if you are going to take MRI scan, what is the basic principle we have? Yes, the magnetic field. Due to that magnetic field, we are imaging of the our human parts, right? Let's move on to our topic. So the magnetism in medicine, right? What will happen? How it happens? We have nerves, right? So we have number of nerves. That nerves, I have chosen only one nerve. Okay. So for example, I'm, for better understanding, I'm telling about I'm taking us one nerve. And in that nerve, we have weak ion current. What is called ion current? You have studied in electrochemistry, right? Yes, the atoms lose its uh, electrons and becomes ions, right? So similarly, here we have weak ions. Those weak ions produces, uh, it produces current. With those ion current, right? This ion current produces magnetic field. Obviously, we know that if a current carrying conductor, definitely the magnetic field is produced. And similarly, when you are passing a weak ion current through nerves, it will produce this magnetic field. So this circle is indicating is magnetic field, right? So how it happens, right? For example, I am holding this uh, chalk piece, okay? For that holding the chalk piece, I need some muscles, right? So for that muscles, how it, uh, it holds this uh, chalk piece? Yes. We have the nerves, right? Those nerves send some impulse to the muscles, and then we are holding this chalk piece, and it will return back to brain to understanding what we are holding, right? Okay, and listen here keeping an object or holding an object, anything, either keeping an object or holding an object, and for that keeping or holding, we need muscles, right? For that muscles, we need nerve so in that nerve it send electric impulse to these muscles this electric nerve gives the electric impulse and it's sent to muscles and muscles hold this object right so what is electric impulse generally what is called impulse yet small time the force is more right and similarly here also with the small time the current is produced that's we are saying that electric impulse and this electric impulse is mainly responsible to produce the magnetic field. That's why I wrote here, the electric impulse produces temporary magnetic field. It produces temporary magnetic field. So why we are saying temporary magnetic field in the sense, these ion currents are very less. Okay. And it produces temporary magnetic field. Right. And the magnetic field is produced. Right. We have produced some temporary magnetic field. That temporary magnetic field is produced inside the body is much much very less value that is 1 by billion that is we are, I wrote here 1 billion yes either you can write 1 billion or 1 by billion into earth magnetic field earth magnetic field value is 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 4 tesla which is not available in your textbook but you can note down for the your understanding if you want you can note down the earth magnetic field 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 4 tesla this value this huge value in that value we are going to take 1 by billion then we can say that this is very little bit amount it's produced inside our body right and what are the do you have any idea about any parts of the body um, the magnetic field is produced yes of course we have brain and heart and that two organs the magnetic field is is produced is significant that means the magnetic field is produced in in a human body. Here I go. The heart and the brain of the human body, the magnetic field produced is significant, right? So these two parts are producing. Sorry, these two parts are is the magnetic field produces significant, right? So only for these two are we are going to take MRI scan, either heart or brain, right? And even for some, these two are main responsible to send other organs also. And the magnetic field inside the body, 
forms and the basis of obtaining the images. Where well, you can see, yes, if you are going to scan that time, the magnetic field inside the body forms and the basis of obtaining the images of different body parts, right? And this process is we are saying that magnetic resonance imaging. What is the word stands for? M R I. That's why we are saying that MRI scan. And what is the main application of MRI? Yes, that is called medical diagnosis, right? I hope you understand well. Thank you. See you in the next video.